in this video I am going to discuss about array data structure and its operations. Array is nothing but it is a linear uh, type of linear data structure um, which is defined as a collection of elements with a uh, similar data type uh, which, which would be stored in contiguous memory locations. Arrays exist in both single dimension as well as in multiple dimensions and each item in an array is indexed starting with 0 and we can directly access an array element the data element by using its index value. So, randomly any data element in an array can be accessed with the help of its index value and these data structures come into picture when there is a necessity to store multiple elements of similar data types together at one place. And what is the need for array? Assume that uh, there are uh, 10 students in a class or uh, only 5 students in a class and if you have to keep records of their marks and other details, uh, we can do this right by declaring, if suppose if there are only 5 students, we can do this by declaring 5 variables, 5 individual variables and keeping track of records. But what if the number of students becomes very large, then it would be very challenging to manipulate the data. The idea of an array is to represent many instances in one variable and also another advantage is arrays provide random access lookup type which means it takes only big O of one complexity to access any element the complexity is going to be 1 because randomly if you want to suppose there are arrays with a huge size for example with the size of 100 which means array is holding 100 values in a consecutive memory locations if you want to access 99 the values which are located at 90th location which is going to take only one the complexity which it is going to take only one which means accessing the first index of the array and also the 100th index of the array will both take the same time. Therefore, in an array for example, you take the sample array data structure the array size is only 6. In an array with the 6 element to access the first uh, element array is pointed towards uh, the to access the first element uh, array is pointed towards the 0th index similarly to access the 6th element the array is pointed towards the 5th index. So, if you want to access the first element it would point 0th index and it would fetch the first element. If you want to access the last element, it would be pointing the last index and it would fetch the last element. So, to access any element, it is going to take the same time only, same amount of time only. So, this is how the array uh, data structure would look like, the array structure would be and the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we call it as an index which means the position of an array like this uh, to, to refer each and every data element with the help of this index only the data element can be referred. So, all these indicates uh, the position indicates the index, index position and these are the data elements, all these are the data elements, the elements which you want to store inside an array this is how array data structure would look like. Element is nothing but the item which you want to store in an array and index is the location of an element in an array which it has a numerical index which is used to identify the element in so and so cell in so and so place. Next is about uh, the array uh, declaration. Arrays can be de declared in various ways in different languages, <coughs> here I have done it uh, in a different uh, for a different data types. So, this is how we are supposed to uh, declare an array, uh, int the first one is int array uh, and the size which has been given in the square bracket. So, this indicates uh, the data type, uh, this is the data type, if it is integer data type you are supposed to give int the kind of value it can store is what the data type is and ARR is going to be the array name to identify the array, the name of an array must be given and this 10 is going to be the size, size and this is array name and this is the data type. If it is integer data type you are supposed to use the term int, if it is character data type it must be char and if it is uh, uh, float then you are supposed to use the term float here. So, the declaration of array must be like the first thing is declaring an array means specifying all these following you know first is the data type, second one is the array name and the size we are supposed to show. The type can be anything in float double care, it can be any valid data type. So, it can be like this. 
this is how we are supposed to declare an array when it comes to an initialization again arrays can be initialized in different ways in different languages so i have initialized an array int array of the size is 10 means i have ju just initialized the values all the 10 values can be given with integer data type if it is char uh, the data type belongs to the character data type right and this is the example and if it is float and this is going to be the example for array initialization and next topic is about the basic operations in an array the basic operation in the arrays are insertion deletion uh, traversal searching update and display these operations are usually performed to either modify the data in the array or to report report the status of the array um these are the uh, following are the basic operations are supported by an array let's discuss each and every operation separately